κόρη πέρα καπάω εφαρμόν το κόρη θα μου λιτού και αν είναι φαγός έτσι αν είναι φομιά θα μπαίνει και αν είναι φαγός έτσι και αν δεν πέτω φατώ το νου και αν το πέτω νου Εγώ του έχω μόνοι πήγαν εγώ ελάβω και καθά ακαώ καθώ έχω πολύ αλλά πάρα με να του είμαι να το έλεγα Koe anga ni mo ui a e ki famili koe ni o kuma ui mi ki nga ui fami a koe ni koe koka anga ka ki mo a ke lava ke koka nga tu o kui ai pe a ki ingo we hia po i uta o kui lava ke a i o a musi mai o faya no nga hi o hae o fohi o ta wa ke la a mo mo e pa uto ki ta i a o mo lu koe ni o mo lu pe he pe a uto ki hanga le va hoko hoko ia fa ta ta o ki lahi a e Nga whakoe he ki tauranga ngā koukau ki ai Pe a te unofolewa mono mono a kia ki lai tutu Mo e ki fo i mahoa a koka anga Pe a hiri koe a te ulawa lewa a koka i e ki ingatu Koe nei lawa koe ki ingatu koe a koe o mai lewa ia Pe a kuma ngawe a ki lewa umea koe a Koe ke mau toe fuongo si a e o wau koka ta tau o whakatoka O kuma ngawe a ki e tāpua ki mea si hova koe umea Mau ngawe ake a whakulo kula ake mau ngatū Hiri koe a pati mau toke ole wa wau mai peko ka o haka Ke whaka uri uri ake o tohi Pe a lawa lewa e uki ingatū koe o kuru ngao hi o whakatā watu Ke a mau kawe ngā whaka paanga hange koe misinale Moe ngā hi whaka afe Fua ake totongi ako e whanao Pe a toe lawa pe moe ngatū koe o kuru ngao hi Ke fua ake kawe ngā whaka whamiri Nga koe tāpu ake ako maʻu i hau maʻe wā Ko i au whai ngō fua au pito e anga mo ui Koe ke te a maʻu anga mo ui O maʻu pe mi i utahe ki lai tūtu Tokon ke huspaniti ke ki ngō ue ki honu whaka māketi atu O maʻu e nō kwhai Ko ngā hi ki e kie Ngā hi whang ki i sei Aia koe whau o ko ngā ue ake Ai ko raki mea o kwhai O ko alo tā mai fo i whau Ha upe ko ia vau O se ono vau e fo i whau Awe ki tahi o tata o Hiri hau wike ua, wike tolu, horewa hake mai fo i whau, mai koe a lanu. Lanu pe koe fo i whau, ai au kono fotu ngā ai nite tawa au ki ai. Osi po ono lanu, kamata rewa e mau ngāu e ke whau, ai koe ngāu e uraki whai, te uraki whii e whau, osi pa utoka au tui ake ki e ki e. Pange koe ki i mea koe, oku lawa pe whau, ngahi aka ki fo i sei, te uteu ake ki i helu. Pe aku lawa pe whau o niti ake tau wala. Koe ku whatongi ai a koe whinga hame ake maua hea se niti ke tau ako ki whamiri. Pe a ko tare niti ko ome e ki ma ako koe lalanga. Ai aku lawa ke u ngawe ake ai loa kau. Koe maua nga mo ia o ki whamiri o tatau pe i he lalanga tau wala. Koe whala loa taha. Pe a ikake nga tape i he tofua. Oku lawa fo ke ngawe ake moe ki e. I he haua koe ni, o glawa ke uome a e ta awala koe ni koe tofua tonga O koe ki ta awala koe ni koe no lahi koe ono Aia te ufe inga ke au ki he fute e fa Koe mahu inga e ta awala koe ni, o koe i he paanga e ono nge au Ka koe fotunga mo no nanunga ngawe ake loa kau O koe alo pe o tami uta o ngahi Pe au haka o fola ke mo moa Pa toki mea e takai o tohi o whakahauka ki e ngāwe koe ni. Koe ngāwe whoke la langa ki taha ngāwe tu pao pe e whonua ko tonga. Ka o kui ai pe hona o whakangatangata whakapaanga. Aia koe hono whanki i au karas ke e kehe pa e tipen mea ia e mau angapaanga. Pa e hene pehe o ku maua e mo ui au ki i whamiri e tare niti whawhofa o me e ki ma aku whakataha pa mo e aka o pe ku una e whakateo ngā ke e kie whunga whonua o mau mo ui au mo ki i whamiri fu a ke e whatongi e si a si mo e whonua. Pa e talanoa ke la langa koe ngāwe whainga taala. Ka ko tu pe ke o pole ke whakaanga e tare niti ko o me e ki ma aku ko hi ko ki i whamiri ke tau hi te ria na anau tuk hau siya. Koe akau koe nyo ka matake a ngawe koe ni koe alo. Pa koe akau koe ni o fetu whainga taa ku mau meai o ka ku maneo ngane whainga taa ku mau alo peo o mai o ngawe ngahe koe mo ui o mau whamiri o ku mau meai. Ku mau alo taa mai a akau koe ni koe alo o mai o haka o sa no haka te mau mulu o sa no mulu koe kiri ko to o kiri o sa koe hapa te mau whai. Pau omi ma mau o whenga ima ma mau ki whaitu a niu Ko ka mata ia hano ngā ue o la langa o katoa lo Ko whaitu a niu, ko e alo, te tok taun te wa la langa 
ke We have here now Christy Langilani, um, one of the participants that join us in our uh, session today uh, on youth and women in parliament. Christy, the first question, how important is this exercise and especially how important is this to have a voice from the youth in our parliament? Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, to me personally, I, I personally believe that this program is really important to us youth, um, especially now we're dealing with a very big uh, chaos which is drugs mm. and um to me if we do not um, have this kind of program to let the youth um you know influence them into doing good things and let them busy um on something that's really worth 
being busy on rather than you know, dealing with drugs and all this stuff. As um as I've heard then um other uh, youth some youth talking about drugs, they, they believe that drugs is their key out of um poverty, out of unemployment. But that's that's their that's their mentality for using drugs. But to me I believe that um this is actually a, a very good platform where they would use their time and get that type of mentality out of their brain and to use their time into getting more th um, working in good things, especially for um, here in Ewa. Uh, as they say, this is a place of uh, weed, mm. but I, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I believe everything that we have here in Ewa can actually get great money in, in a good way mm. rather than getting it in, you know, talking about weed and stuff. Yeah, that's what I actually mean. Um, my last question for you, uh, uh, Christy, is um, a lot of programs that we have when it comes to youth, uh, you, you notice there's a lot of adults that's there and then they're going to be saying, oh, the youth should do this, the youth should do this. With a program like this, having a youth parliament um, and, and it's youth led, how important is that for the youth to lead uh, the problems and solving the problems of youth? Um, as, according to our culture, we would always uh, listen to our parents, like the elders knows best. That's what we believe in. Mama knows best, dad knows best. You do not know anything. You have to like abide by the rules. But this type of um, program, our youth in parliament, it gives us the opportunity to speak for ourselves. There are things that we want to speak on, but we're not allowed because of culture. Um, you, you're not allowed to say this because it will go against this. But when we get this opportunity, we're able to voice out our needs, not only to our parents, but to also great leaders. As for myself, um, I'm a young teacher and I just started teaching here, but there are very important things that I want to raise up. I want to voice out to the world. I want, I need help you know, from, from the school that I'm teaching, for the kids that I'm raising in, in class, but I, I do not have the right platform to do that. So if I get this chance in youth in parliament, I'll be able to voice out my needs to everyone, also go internationally, so that I will receive the type of help that I need. Not only telling my parents, oh, I need this money, I need this, but I can raise it up to everyone so they can know what I really need. Not only that, but also for the youth to voice out what they need. Not only rely on your parents, but rely on themselves and be resilient. Yeah. Thank, That's you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're here in beautiful Ewa and we're walking on the beach. Um, my first question. Wait for the first question, Bonnie. Yeah. It's like. First question. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, my first question, uh, Lord Fafanua, as a young person and a woman that has doubts whether he or she should join uh, Tonga uh, Youth Parliament or Tonga Women's Parliament, what advice do you have for this person? If they're only thinking that they're weavers, that they're farmers, what advice do you have for them? I think my first advice would be never underestimate yourself. Mm. And um, every voice counts. Mm. So how doesn't matter how silly or small you think the idea is, I'm sure it'll be a good one. So we want to hear from you, all the women and um, all the youth of Ewa. How important is it to have youth and women in the in a dialogue with Falealea? Uh, they, you know, both women and youth have their own unique needs, mm. and that's why we have two separate parliaments, one mm. for youth and one for women. Um, we need a greater voice for women because mm. they make up half of the population. We can't be a true democracy if we don't have enough um, of the other half of the population represented in parliament. Mm. So women are underrepresented right now, mm. and this program is to encourage them, mm. empower them, mm. and um, you know, hopefully we'll see more women in the future uh, participate in our elections and make it into parliament. Fafanua, I've always noticed you advocate, you champion women and youth in parliament. Both have been unrepresented over there in parliament now. Why is this so important to you? Lala, that's a really good question because I think that the reason why uh, we need to encourage the youth mm. is because they make up the majority of our population. Mm. Um, Tonga is a very young country and we need them to be engaged now mm. 
so that they can be better prepared for their future when mm. they do participate in parliament. Mm. That's, that's the simple answer. For Vanua, as Speaker of Parliament, how have this role helped you as a traditional leader? Um, I think, firstly, I was a traditional leader before I became Speaker of Parliament. Mm. So really what um, I want to do as a traditional leader has been applied to my Speaker role. Yeah. We're nearly there. On the session today, we've just had with, with women and youth, you, you spoke on the importance of you registering and voting. You mm -hmm. even elaborated the saying, do not go on Facebook or social media and, and um, voice your frustration and, and so forth. Get out and register and vote. Yeah. I just wanted to elaborate more on that. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I was, I was just making an example. Like, if you want to complain about how the state of affairs in the country, you mm -hmm. want to complain about um, what the government should be doing, mm. uh, what they're not doing, mm. but you never voted, mm. then really you shouldn't complain. Mm. You know, every vote counts. Yeah. And you should really get to know what your representatives, your candidates who are running in your constituency, mm. what they stand for, mm. what the platforms are that they are running on. Mm. I think it's important for you to familiarize yourself with that mm. and then vote for the best candidate who represents what you want. Mm. I think we need to start voting based on the outcomes and the platforms mm. that the people's representatives um, are running on mm. uh, instead of voting along, you know, the usual alliances yeah. um, because they are your family or your kind yeah. now because yeah. um, they went to your high school, yeah. they're alumni, uh, because you're in the same church. Yeah. I mean, understandably, there are some commonalities because you, you obviously might align on some things. Mm, mm. But I think people should be more open to what each representative or candidate mm. actually stands for. Mm. Hearing you talk and, 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 and passionate about this, and you know, every young youth or women that we've spoken and I've asked the question and you've asked the question, why is this program important to you? All of them say it's a program where we can hear the voices of the youth, hear the voices for the women. Mm. Huh. What outcome you want to see with the program, with this program, Tonga Youth Parliament and Tonga Women Parliament? Out of this uh, Youth Parliament and Women's Parliament, mm. I would like to see more youth participate mm. in the election in November. Mm. I would like to see more women try mm. uh, to be more politically active, mm. whether it's running for parliament or for um, Officer Kolo or, yeah, yeah. you know, um, the regional uh, local government elections. Yeah. Um, ultimately, we want to hear more from the youth. Yeah and um, because they make up the majority of our population yeah. it's important that we do hear from them because everything we do is for the future and there is no future if we don't have the youth and we want to be more inclusive and the earlier they start the earlier they become they engage with politics the yeah. more familiar they would be and the more comfortable they would be and probably more empowered in the future so it's really for the benefit of the country we have a very young democracy. Mm. Since 2010, we had our political reforms. Mm. And, you know, in these past few elections, yeah. we've noticed less youth engage in our, in our um, parliament. Yeah. We've seen less youth participate in the last election in yeah. 2017. So parliament's trying to engage the youth to get them more interested yeah. so that their voice counts and that we have uh, a functioning democracy. We have youth um, participating and engaging in democratic practices and using their power in the ballot. Lord Fafanua, that's all the questions I have for you and, and I'm excited for Tonga Youth Parliament, also Tonga Women Parliament and, and thank you for all you do for not just the youth but for the women. I'm excited as well Lala and I think this is a nice change from our walks in yes. Tonga Tapu at the swimming pool. Yeah and this um, is nice. Um, I know we're supposed to uh, walk and talk and have an interview, but we've actually done, we've done a, a good job with this walk. Yes. They don't have roads here anymore. For everyone wiped out by the tsunami. Yeah.
And I prefer yeah. it. I hope they don't tar seal it. I think they should just leave it like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. It's We're walking in the middle of the road. <laughs> Women and uh, youth, please register and join the Tonga Youth Parliament and Tonga Women Parliament. Of Atu. So we just went to someone else's Uta in Ewa. Now we're going to the right Uta. Mau 
Come Kapau 
Youth and women, register now for Youth and Women Parliament. We want to hear your voice. Ofatu from Ewa. Stareki, kwa kaukasi. <laughs>